That Dalish elf who joined us is eager, to say the least. The Dalish possess great knowledge. We should be honored to have him with us. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. But we've got trouble ahead. nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. <laughs> the thing's that bad. Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. He'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Have any undead attacked the camp? We've had a few shamblers, but most head toward the village below. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. You mean, aside from wearing all your armor and wading in? Maybe the locals will lend us a boat.
your faith.
it up. Nothing to report, sir. The Warden and Hawk should be inside that cave. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the Wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of Wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Taud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the Deep Roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior Warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The Wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. 
Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. We should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, Your Worship. Terrell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden, once. Among those King Kaelan reached out to before the Blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words. Certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like being a Warden? I can't even imagine. <laughs> Been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Griffiths was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. When I suggested Griffiths might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on me. I trained some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. We'll talk later. I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the Western Approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. 